and we are getting into this Greninja versus Mewtwo Diagon opening to go Mewtwo this time around versus Gold. Rocking the Greninja, definitely a Pokemon battle, one that we would not have been able to see back in a uh, melee. Uh, could have saw the Smash for it, but you know, Raw wasn't an option. Melee, not an option. 64, they only had like two of them. But now, you know, we got some new generations out here. Mewtwo's been there for a while, not so much Greninja. Slightly Diagon at the moment, but nothing really commanding, nothing crazy yet. She missed the conversion. After that up tilt, you can go to an up air into a back air, get Greninja on stage. And we're not gonna talk about that ultimate reality. All right. Right now, we're gonna talk about the current reality, which is Diagon up about 44%. Why didn't they have to show the down there? I don't know what man was hoping for. Like, Ninja was out. Ooh, the ledge trapping has begun, keeping the pressure up. Duh. A miss. Diagon flub. Gold wasn't there to punish it. Very fortunate from you two. As light as he is, uh, a charge death smash might actually have taken that stop. Really like these up to the coming in from Diagon. He, it's weird because he's not throwing them out as anti airs. He's just, when he's really close to gold, he just does up tilt and it seems to be working for some reason. But gold adjusting to those, uh, those teleports. Like, wait a minute. I know where you're going. Four airs. Not going to connect, and Gold finally taking his first lead of the match, going deep out there, not able to get it. Gave up stage control. Didn't matter because he fell down with the Nair was connected, but he missed the conversion. That could have been huge. And Nair would have converted into an up smash, and that stock could have been gone. Very fortunate for Diagon that that did not occur. My man, Grenadier, really just fought this now. He's like, water is stronger than Psychic. I don't know if you got the memo, but what's up? Gold drawing first blood. He is at 101%, but it doesn't matter because he's still on that first stop, that precious first stop. Trading it like a baby, not trying to let it go anywhere. Diagon's struggling, he's trying to get it. And that Shadow Ball did it, read the jump. Get out of the skies, my guy. Know your place. I'm actually low key. Please disable. Oh, okay, buddy, you didn't do the disable. Didn't you just? All right, we're, we're going to talk about that another time. Okay, the, the combo's coming in, going deep. Even that extra one or two percent still not done yet. Misses the down smash. That would have been big for gold. But you know, he's rocking the 50% lead right now. Diagon having to play from behind. Let's see if he has what it takes to make that happen. Starting off nicely. I'm liking the side B. Follow the air dodge. All of a sudden, Diagon coming alive. Starting to look like he's got a little confidence. Knows what's going on in the game. Oh my god, that was the best Shadow Sneak I've seen in my life. Shadow Sneaks are normally like, hey, I'm recovering, I throw it out in case my opponent is caught slipping. Maybe I'll go for it to punish a standard get up. He literally dodged Shadow Ball and hit him with it, and it killed. That was wild. That was genius, actually. And he's just bit by bit running away with things. It's really getting out of hand for Diagon. I mean, he's going to cheat. You need edge guards or disables. You need a lot to go your way right now if you want to bring this back. Border not going to do it. Watch the shadow sneak. Didn't come in the air dodge, but Diagon put himself in a great position to be able to punish that. Okay, missed the conversion. Diagon, what you got cooking? Okay, he does make it back, but still, you know, he's, he's at 116, goals at zero. You need, you need to get that down tilt. Okay, maybe. Trying to chase. Got the down tilt. Nothing after that. 14% playing it safe, but not safe enough. That forward air connects. Side B not going to save you today. Game number one going to gold. Um, I'll go. You know, I, I, I do see you guys in the chat. Uh, I'll go Mewtwo versus my next opponent. If I'm on stream. I, can't, I probably won't be, but, you know, I got you. Anyway, game number one going to gold and Diagon went Talos so basically thinks he's going to go Lucario because he really likes those walls to, to help his recovery Reninja. and that is exactly Lucario. what he's going to do I ban wall stages for Lucario players that's just my two cents that's what Three, I do two, one, go Oh, and he, he fires off strong. What's wild is that he just hit him four times. He did less than 30 <laughs> percent. But that mental damage was strong, bro. You feel like Greninja lost half his stock. He really didn't. 
Alright, but he's looking a lot more comfortable. The movement coming in from Daigon looking like an entirely new player. And all this damage is big on Lucario because Lucario can kill you without aura. Imagine what's going to happen when you get that aura. It's going to be a whole nother beast, a whole nother Titan to get rid of. Good recovery, but not good enough because you're trapped on the leg still. And Gold is just chasing you. Yeah, you had a lead, but it was very temporary. But a back and forth. Now the player wanting to commit. Can't punish that. Okay, but he, he had a follow-up. I like it. The coverage. Shadow Sneak shielded this time. Still prepared. Diagon in a much better position. It looks like he has a much better understanding of how to deal with this character this time around. Woo, you almost, you almost, you almost got hit. You almost got slapped up. Still almost getting slapped up. These air dodges and spot dodges are saving little Lucario's life. They got, got the, the charge cancel, but wasn't able to get a conversion. Still looking for it. I, I really want to just see him throw out a back air because uh, Gold keeps jumping at him with Nair. I would just do a preemptive back air with Lucario because it hits Nair. It hits like a truck. He almost died. I don't know if you're making it back, my guy. Okay. Good stuff. I love that. Get up attack. That was a free get up attack. Or he could have countered. He had options. Right now fighting for his life. That ball is big. Force Spear not connecting. Force Palm almost doing it, but not quite. Okay, and that one did it. He teleported to the last one. That was crazy. But and this is this is this is huge if Diagon can manage to do some percent without dying. Um, yeah, obviously you always want to do that, but it's extra important when you have this much aura like Lucario. But it did not matter. Not getting anything with all that aura at all. Very unfortunate for Dagon, very fortunate for Gold, though. Gold ties it up. They're dead even right now. And uh, my man Gold is like, we're not even anymore. This string just continues the onslaught. When will it stop? Okay, it, 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 it cooled down for a little bit. Dag Dagon threw some aura on it. He's like, yo, man, put the fire out. All right, and you know, it, it, it's wild to see just how Gold is getting his opening. Because he, he's kind of rolling to get in there. You know, he's... Oh, that, that could have been big. He hit him with the water, but wasn't able to get anything after. Good wait by Dagon. But, you know, like, Gold is getting his openings either because Dagon's running in, and he's just he's just using a base of option to get it, whether it's a roll or a spot dodge. And then once he gets the hit, he doesn't let up. As you can see right there, he got the hit. He got Dagon off stage, did not let up. Got the two frame up beautifully. And then he's just running away with it time and time again. With 17, still counting and still chasing. Even though he missed the opportunity, he just double jumps back on. Like, I'm still hitting buttons. Respect me at all times. All right, you, might want to, you might want to respect that, though. Horror Spirit's getting huge. He really ran by him and got that pivot grab. That was wild. Hey, Nair, not getting anything afterwards, but still chasing. Saigon shot it out. Did not hit. Horse under him didn't get countered as well. The other side B might be able to do it. Maybe especially at the ledge. That, that might be the answer. Try to bait out a Nair because, you know, Gold is jumping around, throwing a lot of them out. Be right outside the range and just connect with the side B right on landing. Or you can just get to That's also an option. And that's what just happened. Diagon falling to Gold 2-0. For oh. the two spots, game number two at that. It's kind of commanding.